Good morning. Today we're going to be working on the knees. So it's a little bit of a routine more for keeping your knees healthy and happy. If you have any major knee issues, then I would um, seek medical uh, ideas. And But I'd also just be aware that quite often what happens with knees, it's to do with the tracking and what's going on with the feet, their neighbors, the feet and the hips. So if you've got any issues, very tight hips, you might find that your knees are gonna end up with an issue. So we're gonna go through some stretches for the, the knees and work the body around that. So Margaret's gonna to start to extend one leg along the floor and pull the toes back towards her and straighten one leg. She's sitting right on the edge of a chair. So you could do this one at an office as well or throughout the day. Trying to keep herself nice and tall. She's gonna lift her leg to the same height as the other knee, no higher. And here we're keeping the attention on the muscles. And then she's gonna bend the knee and put the foot back down. She's gonna do that four more times. Slide it along, raise it up, bend it completely, place it on the floor. Good. It seems very simple, um, but what it's doing is allowing the knee to track the way it should and also allowing her to think about what she's doing so she's not slap happily moving the leg. She's doing it with awareness. Beautiful. And we'll go to the other side. So you get to practice on the first leg and the second leg should be a, a perfect. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have issues trying to get the legs straight, then you may not be able to go all the way up. You may just have to go as far as you can and bend. So you could do it with just bending and straightening. But the idea is to, to take that nice and slow. Great, excellent. So just check my notes, where we're going. Ah yes, we're gonna do our squeeze. So this is a really nice isometric squeeze. You're gonna lengthen yourself forward, take your hands down the shins, try to keep the back nice and extended. Make sure you're engaging through your belly, so you're pulling the tummy in to support your back. And then she's going to push her legs against her hands and have a tug of war going on between her inner uh, arms and her outer shins. And you'll notice that that will start to wake up all the way through the traction through the frontal shins, a little bit of knees, mostly quads and thighs. So you do that for about a minute, then you can have a break and come back up. Good, and try it one more time. You could also do it with a strap around your leg if you're finding you haven't got the strength to have that tug of war. But here you're multitasking, you're getting a lot of chest work and making sure you're keeping that back nice and strong. Okay, and release. So we're gonna get you to do the lunge, deep lunge, so we're gonna Put you, we'll put that down a little bit so you can lean against it. One leg in a deep lunge, other leg up off the heel. Key point here is we want a right angle through that knee. You can leave your hands on the chair for the moment for beginners. That might be as far as you stay. And then you want to try and keep this thigh lifting, this whole leg lifting off the floor as you pivot that pelvis around, lovely. And then you can bring your arms up into warrior one. So again, you might have the arms extended or you might have the arms down in cowboy surrender, cactus pose if you've got any issues. Beautiful. And change it over. We'll do two on each side. Extension, press, keeping a line through the back hips and right angles through the front knee. Yep. And remember, two sides are never going to be identical. Lovely, and then change it over. We'll leave this one a little bit longer. Pushing through to the chair, raising the back leg. See if you can straighten that back leg even more, even more, even more. Nice. Breathing slow and steady. A lot going on in here. And changing it over last time. Press forward, press back, press up. Squeeze through the hips. Nice. OK. 
keeping that hip off the floor. Great. And then bring yourself out. Step the front leg. Yep, well, step both legs towards the front and just do a little hanging over. Just two seconds there. Sit on the chair. Just allow yourself to lengthen. All right. And when you feel ready, you want your bottom on the floor and legs are going to go up. So I'm going to turn this around. We're going to pretend Margaret's at the wall and she's going to do preparation for lotus or another name for it is... Uh, pigeon preparation for pigeon yeah single so yeah so making sure the pelvis and the hips are down so it's a, got a couple of names it's used for the peri, piriformis area through here so if you've got any issues with uh, sciatica good so option is as I said the back of this heel on the wall I want to make sure the pelvis is even some people they're kind of wobbly a little when I might we might have to just have to think about where they're dropping off yeah and then you change it over pull it in nice so for the knee obviously this knee is the one being worked when you're in there and bring it down. I'm going to get you to keep yourself there. What would you do without me? That's right. Pop your feet on the, the edge of the chair. We're going to do bridge. So we're going to lift on up. Good. Excellent. You okay with bearing your midriff? Yes. <laughs> She's not shy. <laughs> Excellent. So the same kind of procedure. Pressing through the feet. Lifting through the butt. Pressing down through the shoulders as you reciprocate back up through the chest. Making sure there's nothing going on through your neck. So if this is uncomfortable anywhere, then you could do the floor version. Exactly the same thing on the floor. Good. Ease yourself down. This time we're going to go back up. I'm going to make you do it uh, exactly the same. Press and bring one leg off and keep it at this height. Yeah, a little harder. Good. And press. Nice, nice work. And breathing. And change it down, bend. And go, press. And again, if you're doing it on the floor, one-legged bridge. Makes, uh, because we're trying to keep it at the same height as the knees, there's a lot more weight angle angling. Excellent, and down. Good, I'm gonna give you a strap for our Next movement, so we get you to put that on one foot and then take the chair away. And you can extend one leg or leave one leg. So we're going to do the beginner's version for the moment. Margaret's got this knee bent, which is helping to push her back into the floor. Now, if you want to advance it, you could extend this leg along the floor. And the way to know whether that's too soon to go is if this leg buckled, let's bring this up, if it buckles and it doesn't want to go down, then that's a pretty good indication that there's no point in forcing it and you'd bend it back to staying in the beginner's position. And again, um, I like to do this one actually through a door, this leg going through a door and this leg on the door frame. So again, it's not so mo much about how far you are pulling the leg back. You want to be able to stay with that. I've got my heel into her hip flexor area. You want to try and keep that open and then draw the leg back. For some who are very mobile, um, you just got to try and rein yourself in. Great, change it over. So again, this is the me mechanisms of the leg. So we're filling out the back of the knee, trying to draw the front of the quad in, checking on what's going on. And remember, you've got two sides, they're never going to be identical, so you want to make sure you're working with, with what's going on for you today. Nice. All right, and then we'll get you to roll to the side and come up. I'm going to do Janus Sarasana, which is a single leg forward fold. So if you go along your mat, I'm going to put this behind you, whether you need it or not. Okay. And so that'll be for the buttocks. So if you think your hamstrings are an issue, please put something underneath the buttocks. 
just under the sit bones so that you'll pull the flesh back. Got one leg bent in, one leg straight. And we'll use the beginner's version. Thank you. Even if you can get your foot, it's probably better not to try at this point because we want about a lengthen through the back. Now, if Margaret had a really bowed knee and you could drive a double-decker bus through there, I'd suggest something like a hand towel to roll up underneath. So if you put something under here, if you've got some contact down under the back of the knee, it helps to keep that awareness. And the yoga that I like to do is all about awareness, being in the moment, feeling what you're feeling and expanding on that sensation. So working deep and slow, calm and steady. Good. And changing it over. Just one point, just make sure, don't bring this foot a little out. If you take the foot too far into the inside of the other leg, sometimes it can actually go underneath and you end up getting a little bit too much height. You wanna be pushing the back of that leg down that's on the floor, remember to ground down through whatever's on the floor, lifting up through everything else, hinging at the hips, opening through. So this is here where we're just allowing this knee to drop and open, which is hope. Fully, hopefully it's stretching the knee it's also stretching up into the hips which is the neighbor for the knee so again keeping those two areas nice and flexible all right we're going to go into a single leg hero's pose so we're going to put the blanket under one buttock have one leg underneath you and the other leg in front yep and you need to sit quite close to the edge of the blanket. And there's a couple of little things you need to make sure here. So, so this is such a good pose for knee issues. Um, I had medial ligament issues many years ago and rather than have surgery, I sat in this pose for a long, long time. My knee made a lot of noise for about six months and then it was all healed. So there's two things you wanna make sure that this foot is happy. Now you can see with Margaret, she's got quite a flexible foot, but quite often this will be the first point that's really a problem. And I normally would roll something under it. Yeah, you don't want them to be sitting. You know how children can sit with their feet like that? Looks ghastly, I don't know how they do it. But anyway, it's not a good habit. It, it, obviously if that's your preference and it, your feet go like that, it's not a problem now and hopefully it won't be but we always want to try and keep the, the muscles in line. And we want to now hinge forward and go forward. If that's an issue and you can't get forward, then you simply stay staying sitting up. Good. I'm just gonna move this around a little bit so you can see Margaret. Breathing is deep and steady and slow. Inhale and come up, change legs, change the buttocks over, go to the other side. Such a nice pose. Make sure that you are feeling even. The back of those toes are down, toenails down, and you're hinging forward. You may only get a little way and you might even have to use your arms into the side of the body to stay there. Nice. Deep, slow, steady. Inhale, exhale. And inhale to come up. Bring both legs off to the side. Roll onto your knees and prepare for downward facing dog. So you're going to have your hands out in front. Arms a little further forward to your shoulders. Perfect. And then when you're ready, you can lift up through. So I'd stay with the knees bent for the beginnings. You want to keep the knees at a right angle. The heels are lifted as high as you can get them, and that'll put the weight forward. Your arms are pressing into the floor. Hands are pressing. And again, you want to make sure that the weight is through the major joints. And then ease yourself back into it. Uh, if you've got float, these floating ribs, you want to, might want to draw them in a little bit 
and then you want to try and get a right angle here. Whether you straighten your legs, whether you get your heels down, really doesn't matter. The, the pose is about, it's an inverted, so you're getting this lovely surge of blood into your head, face, and lower areas. It's quite good for your hormonal levels because it is an inverted pose. A couple of breaths there, and then you can rest down in child's pose for a moment. And then we're going to go we're going to go to a wall so i'm going to move the camera so you can see and we're going to do a chair pose at the wall so margaret's going to go find a wall and reach on up that's it lovely so the higher she goes with the arms she gets this lovely traction down she's got the sun on her butt <laughs> great so she's got the lovely right angles. You'll see her feet working, her knees are at a right angle, her hips are at a right angle. And if I made her stay there for a while, she'd be quivering and shaking, which is a good sign. And then she's gonna ease on up and go to side angle pose. We're gonna go along the wall, long, deep movement. Good, her legs are well part now again like the one with the chair she wants to make sure the right the left knee is well over the ankle and using the wall like this gives you the ability to use the work in the body without having to hang on your joints so you can push yourself back to the wall inhaling and exhaling excellent come on up let's do the other side turning that right foot out left foot in Nice. That's it. Right angle with the front knee, back leg pressing away from the floor. Deep, slow, steady breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Right, and then just hang forward off the wall. So the buttocks are going to stay up the wall. We've got a wide angle forward fold. Pushing the buttocks to the wall, lengthening the body so it's forward fall, nice movements. Again, abdominals firm. If you can draw the kneecaps up, do so. If you need to keep the knees soft for the hamstrings, do that also. And then heel toe your feet in, so we're going to come to a forward fall with the legs together and just hang down. Buttocks can still be on the wall or you can straighten the legs completely and pull yourself down. And then if you've got any blood pressure issues, you come up very gently, bend the knees well, coming all the way up. You can even lay, you just lay back, lean back on the wall. It's always a good one. Great. Yep, I just have <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning and wish you all namaste. Thank you.